basically signed an agent and in a month he's telling me oh i'm talking with this lc team i'm like oh okay well you're trolling i didn't believe him at first but uh, i mean it was kind of a mix of cups and humanoid like uh, if you're in the czech league humanoid is gonna get mentioned a lot right Hey guys, this is Pedro and I'm back with a brand new interview. For this occasion, I have here with me Jackie's, the, the mid laner for Giant X ahead of the start of the 2024 LEC winter split. And so Jackie, thank you so much once again for taking the time and doing this interview with me. I really appreciate it. Um, to start off this conversation, I, I, I got to point out the obvious, you know, the fact that you are joining uh, the LEC, appearing in the LEC uh, for the first time for this year. And so how are you taking in this whole situation for you personally? Uh, I mean, personally, I'm really excited, right? As I have mentioned before, a lot of times I've never expected it to happen like this year, you know? I knew that, or like I believed in myself to reach the LEC at some point. Uh, 2024 was not uh, what my expectation. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what can I say? I'm really excited and uh, super, uh, super ready to, to go on the first week. What what year were you expecting to 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 debut in the LEC? If you if you initially said that you weren't expecting twenty twenty four, then what year were you thinking that you were going to to make that happen? Uh, I mean, I thought, I mean, what I expected was to take the regular path because I knew I was like uh, in in my uh, hit point meta. I mean, in my hit point times, you know, when I screamed with Entropic about the, I mean, around the LFL teams, I knew that I can probably make uh, the normal path, which is like from hit point to go probably LFR or LVP and then do some damage in new masters, you know, then maybe get to LEC. So I was like expecting it like uh, 2026, if I was realistic, you know, but I kind of skipped all the steps, the LFL, LVP, I skipped everything and now I'm here. So yeah, I just got to use the, use the opportunity, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. And how did that happen for, first of all, for you to, to get contacted to join the team, you know, because initially, as you said, you were a part of Entropy before the switch happened. So how did those like initial conversations uh, take place uh, for, for you specifically? Uh, I don't really know how the scouting went down for uh, Giant X, right? But uh, I mean, I haven't really talked with Giant X. It was just my agent. I basically signed an agent and in a month he's telling me, Oh, I'm talking with this LEC team. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you're trolling. I didn't believe him at first, but uh, I guess he wasn't. So I don't know how the scouting process went for them, but uh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, what can I say? I guess it went good. And then the interviews came in. I think uh, I did some, I guess, I guess, good job on the interview since I got picked up. And yeah, that was kind of it for me. Yeah, and then, of course, the, the, the announcement was made uh some time ago from a team uh, which then made the whole thing official for you being a part of the lineup so um playing with these people that have already have experience in the lec uh, very well-known veterans uh, such as patrick ignar Odawamne, and then uh peach um how have you been fitting in with, with these players uh from your perspective was it just more of you adjusting to the lineup or was it the the lineup adjusting to you? you know, so how did that work? Mm, I think it's a mix of both. I mean, for me, it's really good that I have a, a lot of veterans or like well-experienced players on my team because since I skipped a lot of steps, as I said, I get to learn it really fast from them. So that's uh, I think that's also needed for a rookie to have some experienced players next to them. So that's a really good thing for me. But at the same time, I think I have my own playstyle. I have uh, an aggressive playstyle. So I would say some parts of them have to adjust to me as well. So I think it's like a 50 50 in a way. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what has been some one of the, the biggest things that, that you've learned so far in the offseason in, in playing with this lineup and and just preparing for the season overall. Like, what's, what is one thing that you feel you've been learning the most so far? Uh, I mean, probably just the macro stuff, right? If you're talking game, I mean, uh, sidelines and objectives, all of that. I think I've missed a lot of uh, 
I mean, as, as I said, it's mostly about the experience. Like, uh, I can ask a lot of questions to like Odo, Patrick, Ignar, right? And even the coaching staff is well experienced, so they kind of know the answers. So, I mean, m basically the macro stuff, but even off game, how uh, mental stuff is like important for you. Where if you're scrimming and if you're going official, right? Which I didn't yet, but uh, I already learning about that. So uh, probably the most I would say is actually the mental stuff that it actually affects you a lot. So yeah, probably that. Yeah, and it's one thing for you to be playing in the regional leagues uh, for basically your, your entire career, but it's another thing to to step from that to the LEC in one fell swoop. And so, so what has been the biggest thing that you had, that you feel you had to change from playing in the Czechian uh, regional league and stuff like that to the LEC? Uh, I mean, I probably have to, what I have to change the most is probably like respect to other, like to enemies, because uh, in the Czech league, I have to say like, the, I mean, I, it's gonna be a bit egoistic, but the opponents were not that good. Like, what can I say? Mm -hmm. So I got a lot, like I got away with a lot of stuff that should never happen and will never happen, like let's say in the LEC or even in LFL, let's say. So I have to like uh, respect more the players, like don't do crazy stuff for no reason that will just not work out because if it doesn't work out, uh, I'm basically ruining the practice for four other players, you know? So I think basically just uh, respect and uh, don't do stupid stuff basically, yeah. Are the opponents that, 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 that you're going to be facing L in the LEC, which, which opponent do you, or in other words, which mid laner slash opponent do you feel you respect the most in the, in the LEC? Do I respect the most? Um, I mean, if you're talking mid laners, then probably... Mm, I mean, it's between Humanoid and Caps. I think they are by far the best laners. Uh, so yeah, probably one of those two. I cannot say which one yet. I have no idea. But yeah, it has to be one of those two. Yeah, and um, Humanoid, I, I believe, is also from, from Czechia and... Was he also a, a main mode of inspiration for you as a player in your development, or did you look at somebody else that that you viewed as like your inspiration towards you know being a, a mid laner and professional and stuff like that? Mm, I mean, it was kind of a mix of cups and humanoid. Like, uh, if you're in the Czech league, humanoid is gonna get mentioned a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So, like uh, in Czech league, I'm theoretically following the steps of humanoid, right? So he was a big motive as well, but uh, at the same time, I kind of like how Cubs plays the game. I think he plays it differently and I think I have that as well. So I kind of, even his champ pool, I think I also have a pretty specific champ pool. I mean, not specific, actually, like uh, the other thing. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. how it's in English, but like I have a white champ pool, basically, that I mm -hmm. can use. So I kind of, when I saw Cubs playing, I can kind of see myself in like his play style. So, so I kind of looked up to Cap Caps as well. Yeah, and of course, with you debuting in, in the EDC, uh, there's not going to be not much people that are familiar with you and your play style, um, Jackies. Um, so uh, so how would you describe yourself a, a, as a mid laner? Because I know you already mentioned a little bit about, about yourself and your, and your, and your play style uh, throughout this conversation, but exactly like taking a, a much more of a direct focus onto that um, how would you describe yourself uh, player-wise, competitive-wise, and stuff like that? Um, I mean, as I mentioned before, I think my main thing I do is just I, uh, I'm i really aggressive, I think, in the game. I, on lane, I usually just, try, like, not try, but I, I usually play for the kill, you know? I don't like the, oh, plus 20 CS uh, lead, you know? I'm, I'm just going for the kill, you know? So, yeah, main uh, mainly in that, and also I think I uh, move around the map quite often. I'll just keep it at that. Yeah, and and one more final question before we wrap up this this conversation. Um, uh, I I know that there are expectations set for the team, you know, from all sides, you know, even your teammates and 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 the org and stuff like that. But what are your expectations of? Uh, for your contribution to the team once the 
the the split and in essence the season kicks off in in, in less than a week uh, I mean, I can say that I know the players next to me have really high expectations, or at least they want to finally break the, you know, the world course, let's say, but uh, and the MSI course, I assume. But uh, I'm just gonna basically try to follow them in a way. My expectations are, uh, I would say, high as well. But uh, at the same time, the main expectation is not to, like, not disappoint them, but like, not. Uh, Kinda of don't know how to explain it, but I hope I, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But I basically want to follow them, you know, follow them in their path because I think that's what I'm here for, yeah, to make mm-hmm. it easier for them. Yeah, and hopefully that pass would lead to to success for for you and and the rest of Giant X. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much for taking the time during this interview. Really appreciate it once again. Uh, um, uh, and yeah, best of luck in, in the season. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.